My name is Natalie Johnson. Does this look appetizing to you? <laughs> Would you eat at this Taco Bell where this person worked? Um, this photo uh, from ChristianPost.com was posted by an employee of Taco Bell on Facebook, and he was fired for it. Social media has changed all of us, whether we're involved in it or not, and the way we communicate now is different because of it. Throughout the presentation um, I've prepared here, I've been able to research the effects of social media and um, how it's had an effect on business and um, different organizations. Today I'll be focusing on how social media affects the organizational communication of businesses. Communication in companies and organizations affects all of us. We've all had jobs where we have to go through certain employees or supervisors to talk to someone and report something. And um, organizational communi communication studies and defines those different levels and directions of communication between different parts of an organization. According to Gerald Goldhaber, author of the book Organizational Communication, there are different definitions of organizational communication, but all include these areas. It occurs within a complex system that is influenced by and influences its environment. It involves messages and their flow, purpose, direction, and media. And it involves people and their attitudes, feelings, relationships, and skills. Two points that I found interesting are how social media has changed communication between employees and the company that they work for, and how communi um, companies communicate with their customers. We've kind of already talked about the marketing aspect of that. The way businesses communicate has changed dramatically because of social media, and most companies have completely changed how they interact with employees as well as their customers. Um, you may have noticed where you work or in your workplace that there generally isn't a lot of interaction in social media with employees unless it's outside of work. However, you'll start noticing in a lot of jobs that there are social media policies that companies are implementing now. In my last two jobs, uh, there's been a social media policy that has to be signed when you're being hired. And I'm currently working at Ancestry.com. And the policy last updated in 2010 summarizes that employees can't post anything with the company logo any opinions about the company, and no company information can be stated unless you've been trained specifically by the company to post official statements. Like the example of the Taco Bell employee, thoughtless communication for companies without realizing that you're representing them may just get you fired. In, in that case, it did get him fired. Um, another thing that I found interesting about social media is how companies are using it to communicate with the customer. Like Taylor said, uh, social media provides a more direct way for customers to contact and interact with the company. According to Cliff and Rogers, uh, two managers over the social media team at Ancestry.com, social media has increased the amount of feedback and, uh, that the company receives, but that feedback can also be very negative and aggressive. Um, despite the fact that it is negative, uh, they have been able to use a lot of that feedback to improve Ancestry and um, improve different features on the website. It's also enabled the company to be notified quickly about any technical issues with any web pages or any problems that need to be resolved. My brother-in-law's cousin had an experience with the company where she purchased a set of pants that had really high reviews and they were supposed to be really good pants. And um, she used them and found that they were nothing like the reviews that she had seen or the things that the company had promised. And she went on Twitter kind of not happy about her experience and said that they were the worst pans that she had ever used. And then within 10 minutes, she was contacted directly by the company and um, sent a completely set new set of pans within the week and they gave her a really good apology on that within 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And so it really does enable companies to contact their customers in ways that they couldn't before. Um, it helps them reply to feedback and complaints and then they also use the social media for marketing tools. Um, companies have pages to like and to follow on social media, and um, they essentially let the customers do the advertising for them through recommendations online. According to a poll uh, by Innovero for staffing firm Aquent and the American Marketing Association, three-fourths of marketers plan to increase strategic efforts on social media and social networking sites this year. 
So those are all the different ones that you can see, but specifically it was three quarters we're planning on doing that one. Um, another way that some companies will market will be um, through contacting blog owners to promote their product through regular posts published on their blog. Amy Cowley, owner of thehappyscraps.com, says that 10% of her posts on her blog are sponsored by a company and two to three posts in a week across all the social media she uses either mention a company or a product. Whether it's companies marketing a product or just staying in touch with friends, social media has changed the way that we communicate with everyone. And it was interesting to learn about the business side of it and how it's affecting the workplace particularly. Look around and see how it's affecting your job and your workplace and be careful not to like any tacos. <laughs>